Just a reminder that this and all my other videos are made for adult doll collectors or adults buying dolls for others. This is not a video for children. Viewer discretion is advised. Thank you very much for listening. Hello Internet! My name is Kelsey and welcome back to my closet. I think I'm back on the horse. That's right, today I was at Target and I found the new series of Hair Adorables Color Magic Blow Dry Besties. If you saw any of my videos from before my hiatus, you'll know that I had a bit of an issue with the last series of Hair Adorables, and I mentioned it a little in my collection video as well. Basically, the Masquerade series from the fifth series of Hair Adorables, which was Masquerader School, I was not happy with them. I thought that they had lost a lot of quality, and I didn't like the accessories that they came with. It just was super disappointed with them. So I was kind of at the point where I was like, no, I'm done, goodbye hair adorables, forget it. But then I started seeing pictures of these popping up. And first of all, they only have 15 new dolls. So instead of doing three series of, you know, different themes within one series, where you could get 36 different dolls. You get one of each different core Hair Adorables character, which there are 15 girls, and then they also have a lot of interesting hair accessories, as you can see on the back. And when I saw that, I was like, okay, so now we're kind of going back to the roots of Hair Adorables, where it's more about the hair play aspect, because that's what started this whole thing. Big hair don't care. You want stuff to do with the hair. I mean, the last series, they didn't even come with brushes. So like, how can you have a doll line based around hair that doesn't come with a hairbrush? I was willing to give them another chance. So I picked up two. I got one in each color. So the cases that they have now come in this dark purple or pink. And there are 12 surprises inside. The other thing is they're kind of going back to the color change sort of thing. I think color change is kind of becoming a big thing because a lot of dolls are starting to implement that. I don't mind. I think it's a cute gimmick when it works properly, that is. And what's nice is that you don't really need scissors to open these because it has the perforation and then you just rip off this outer layer of plastic. This way now you don't see the glare of the plastic and we can look at all the different accessories that we're going to get. The stickers were a big point of contention for me last time because the masquerade ones came with the same freaking lame mask sticker over and over again, which didn't even look like it was for Hair Adorable specifically. I don't even want to get into the whole masquerade thing again. Based on all the accessories that we saw, there's a lot of things they're giving you now to promote styling their hair and stuff. So I think I think this is gonna be a return to form for Hair Adorables, but we will see once we actually open it. So let's open this one. Ta -da -da -da. Ah, okay. So before in the past, you would have one thing here that would have the doll and then the accessories were in little shelves here, but now it's just one flat piece. And that is Callie and Noah, and there's some perforations on this cardboard, so we're gonna find our surprises back here. Let's start with this little one in the corner. All right, and it looks like we've got, so in this one we had a headband. It's just pink with crisscross pattern on it. And the holes in it, I'm assuming these go in the holes. These are little winged hearts. There's this blue one and then this purple one. So I don't really know, I haven't seen good pictures of all the dolls in this series, so I don't know what doll is what. I have no idea what we're about to get, but that's what that looks like. So that was part of the, that was two surprises from the back, was hair, headband and headband plugins. And then there was also this pair of shoes here, which are these purple little sandals. They've got like fringes at the top. I'd like to point out though, that because they're doing this thing with the cardboard, they've eliminated the plastic bag that would usually be inside of here. So that was a good move. Let's see this. And yes, a brush. Thank goodness. Oh, I think this is our hint of who we got. A sticker that says Bella with a hair dryer. And in the background, that's her hair because she always has like the blonde and purple hair together. So we got three really stiff hair ties or rubber bands. And this brush that's blue heart shaped and has a mirror on the back, which is cute. 
that they combine the brush and the mirror together. And finally, this is a hair dryer and it's got a little sponge which you're supposed to wet and then it changes color and I just realized I didn't bring water. <laughs> and that's a cattail. Let's open this one, ripping Callie's face off. So this is the stand or the bottom of the stand. It's pink kind of clear. And then these are the tools that one of these is the ponytail tool. I think it's this one and then this one is for bun. So we'll have to see if there's instructions on how you're supposed to use those. I'm assuming that we're about to see Bella and I'm guessing the collector's guide is probably in here too. Uh, Aww. <laughs> here I said we don't need scissors but for the first time she's actually strapped in to this plastic thing. Usually you can just pull them out and the hair just kind of whooshes out. Here's Bella. She's got green eyes. Does she always have green eyes? Yeah. And she's got this big streak of pink in her hair and then the rest is blonde and purple which I guess would be her natural color. It's just pulled back and underneath with a little tie at the back and she's wearing pajamas. I think they all wear pajamas which is cute for this theme of like blow drying and everything. It's like they're fixing up each other's hair before they go out for the day. Pattern on the pajamas. She's got a little ribbon and then they're all one piece. The hair feels different. It feels like they're using a different hair than normal hair dorables. Cause usually hair dorables have that super soft fluffy hair. So yeah, this definitely, this is Neela from like series three and it definitely feels different than this. This is a little shinier, a little smoother. This is more soft and fluffy. Still a little shiny, but not quite as shiny as this. I don't know hair types that well though, but there, it definitely feels different to me. Maybe it has something to do with the color change. This is what was behind her. We had the collector's guide, and then in the background it says blow dry bar, and it's like a little salon vanity setup. And we can see that we got Bow Baby Bella. That's what her artwork looks like for this one. And then we've got this whole listing of everybody. They're all pretty cute. They all have really long, fun to play with hair by the looks of it. And over here on the back, it says create so many new hairstyles and gives you some examples of the different hairstyles you can do. And then of course, as I had hoped, instructions on how to do the hairstyles and the color change. So we'll go through those at the end. I'm gonna open this next one first. I was gonna say for a second, these shoes looked almost exactly the same, but this top part is different. So here's the little headband piece that goes in. It's a bow with a blue heart in it. Kind of looks like a jewel, like it's got facets in it. And then this also kind of looks like it has stone studded stuff on the, the top, the headband. It's a little bit of a darker pink than Bella's headband. And then these shoes, very similar. They're like purple, like Bella's shoes are a little more indigo, but these are more actual purple and they're just sneakers with a little part that goes around the ankle. Sorry, my hand is shaking. I don't know what's going on with that. There's like a little like eyelet lace detail on the front of the toe. So here's what the headband looks like too with the bow on top. But you could also, since there's three holes in the headband, you could put it on this side and just have it as a side thing. You could take one of the pieces from another headband and put that on the other side. So there's possibilities for mixing and matching. All right, so this is gonna tell us who we've got because we're gonna have a sticker. It's Harmony. Now I'm glad there's only one sticker. So this is Harmony and it's blue and green, which is her hair color. Every time that I pull blind hair adorables, I get a Harmony. I got one for the garden series, I got one in the masquerade series, and now I have the blow dry one. That's so weird. So her brush is the same color, but it's an octagon. I know shapes. Mirror is actually pretty reflective. And then her hair dryer is 
purple. I don't know if I mentioned, but there is a little handle piece for them to hold it. It's a little heavy though for them. And then here's the stand. I think it's slightly darker of a pink than Bella's stand. Her ponytail thing is pink, but her bun thing is the same color as Bella's. Let's see what Harmony looks like. Oh yes, I have to cut her out. Yo, ooh, oh, her hair is extra long, wow. Okay, so here's Harmony. This piece right here has a little bit of product in it, but this is what she looks like. She's got on a little dress with music notes on it, of course, because that's her theme is music. You see that? And then she's got like a little glittery belt and the pattern continues all the way around. And then her hair is super long and she's got a little bit of an ombre in this piece here so like that might just be because I've been touching it but there's purple at the top and then it goes to blue this is probably the piece that changes color and then the rest is just her usual neon green and blue hair I like her a lot I've gotten a lot of harmonies like I said but I, I am not disappointed her background is exactly the same as Bella's they're definitely going more simple with this line. And I think at the point that they were at, that might just be the best thing for them. This is Harmony's artwork down here. She's Harmony Highlights. But now we're gonna test out some of the hair play features. So let's try the bun. So by the looks of it, you're supposed to put the hair in a ponytail spread it around the two loop parts at the end and then put it up and around so it's like that donut thing that people have and since harmony already has her hair in a ponytail i'm just gonna try it with her so once you get the hair on like this what you're supposed to do is roll it up like this like into like a big hair burrito and then you bend it around and then there's two hooks on the bottom that you hook together and then you kind of zhuzh the hair around and then that is oh my god that is that is a bun I don't know if it's the nicest bun but that's probably because I don't have the dexterity for it <laughs> but it works and uh, you could also probably use it on any doll really to help you try to make a bun so that's cool let's try the ponytail okay so for this one first you're supposed to make a ponytail and then once you do that you take the pointy end and slide it into the elastic so that it's in there then you pull the hair up into the loop. Now, I'm not doing it all that great, but once you get it up in through the loop, you're supposed to pull this out and guide the hair through. Oh, I don't know if this is gonna work. All right, you know what? Once again, I'm gonna switch to doing this on Harmony since she already has a ponytail that I can work with. Easier if I had child hands. I'm gonna try this again. I think you're supposed to put it straight down, not through the elastic. That might have been my mistake. Failing so hard at this right now, I don't understand what I'm doing wrong. Since I am epically failing at this, I'm just gonna to explain to you what it's supposed to look like here and show you this. You're supposed to get this effect where the hair is pulled through and kind of like like a mermaid braid, I think they call it, but I, I don't know. I don't know if it's the instructions that just aren't detailed enough or if I just have no idea how to do it, <laughs> but I am really, really struggling. Instead, let me put on the shoes. Here's what they look like with their little shoes and headbands. They're pretty cute. If you haven't seen a hair adorable before, they can turn at the head, not really go side to side. Their arms can go up and around and they have excellent range of motion in the hips. Now the only other thing is we have to do the color change and this actually says that it's not just the hair but the face that has a color change. So I'm gonna go get some ice water. All right guys, I'm back. I've got some ice water. You can't see the ice, but trust me, it's in there. And I'm just gonna take the hair dryer now and dunk it in. So the sponge is nice and wet. And let's take Bella 
and let's go over her face. It's fading really fast because it's so freaking hot under the light and everything. But there is, she's got a little heart with wings under her eye there. And that is her little color change makeup effect. So as I was holding her, her hair streak turned blonde. So I guess with warm water, it turns blonde. And then with the cold water, it turns back to pink. So each of them have something under their left cheek. Okay, so she's got, it's like a base cleft that has hearts instead of dots. And then a little heart on the end, which of course, you know, we know Harmony is a big music person. So that's that. And then this part here, that is her hair. And then it goes back to purple when it's cold and blue when it's warm. It's pretty cool, it works, it's fun. What is the verdict here then on Hair Adorable Series 6 Blow Dry Besties? I would say definitely improvement over the last series. There were just too many problems with the last series. Are they perfect? Some of the outfits in some of the older series were a little more elaborate. So I kind of miss that they're not quite as detailed, they're just simple, but it's really not about the outfits with this particular series. It's about the hair. And the hair works. The color change works. The makeup works with the color change as well. The hairstyles are cute. Even though the hair feels different, it still feels nice. I, I would say it's probably not a downgrade. They have cute accessories. They came with a brush this time and didn't come with 10 million crappy stickers like last time. And they also came with the extra hair tools and the hair bands and everything. So I think that's a lot of fun. Kids are gonna have a lot of fun playing with these and doing the hairstyles if they can figure it out and they're not dumb like me. Plus you get the shoes and the stand, which is always the way that it's been. You know, what drew me to Hair Adorables when I first started collecting and it was just the fact that they had all this hair and lots of potential. And that's why I was so disappointed by the hair art series. But this, these are good. I like these. Am I gonna get more? I'll see. If, if I have extra cash knocking around, they're not gonna be on the top of my list of things to get, but I definitely wanted to give them another shot. And I'm glad I did because I can see that they went in a good direction. I think the fact that they focused on just one of each girl allowed them to expand on what they did with each girl, putting more play into this rather than just it being, you know, collect them all in a frenzy and you're trying to get 36 and then you wind up with three harmonies because there's three different harmonies to get. Another thing to mention that I didn't mention before is these are $12.99. I found them at Target. They're also on Amazon right now and probably on Walmart.com too. Let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching. If you like this, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, because maybe I'll do another Hair Adorables video in the future. Maybe even Hair Amazing, because I heard that there's gonna be another line of Hair Amazing. Share this with your friends who might like Hair Adorables. Comment down below who you're hoping to get out of this new series of Hair Adorables, if you're into them. And if you like other doll stuff, yeah, stick around the channel, because that is what I do. Okay, thanks a lot. Bye!